Okay everyone, welcome back to a guy and his troopy. Once again, it's BT50. Uh, firstly, I'd just like to thank everyone for your support, your encouragement. Yeah, once again, I'm still on the BT50. Today, I'm meant to be at work, I'm meant to be at the Snowy Hydro 2.0, but I spoke to my boss, Chook, he's a good bloke. He let me go a day early because I've been working extremely hard, he reckons. <laughs> well, he just let me go. I want to go to the Dartmouth Dam. And uh, check it, check the water spilling over the spillway. So that's my goal today. It's been 26 years since it's happened, so I'm keen to see that. And uh, hopefully the weather clears up, and I get the drone up and um, show you a bit of footage of that. The only problem is I got a horse floating in the back. Got to take that back to my sister. So it's going to be a pretty slow drive. And because of seasonal closures, I can't take the quickest route. I got to go the long way. So. Right now, I'm on top of the Great Dividing Range. I'm heading towards Tumut. From there, I'll, I'm not actually sure. I'll probably head towards Adelong, and then hopefully maybe down to Cairn Coven, and then to Curryong, and, and then into Dartmouth Dam from there somehow, I think. So, pretty much just winging it, really. All right, hope you enjoy it. And uh, once again, thanks for your support. You know, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, cheers guys. Just coming up on um, Dartmouth Dam, which is overflowing. This, this is the destination I was trying to get to, so we'll see what it looks like, eh? Okay, there it is. Dartmouth Dam, overflowing. First time, 26 years. And apparently it's only the fifth time since they built it. Pretty insane. All right. So, they've closed the bottom gates. I'll turn this around and show you. So normally they release water from the bottom all the time to keep the river stocked up, but they've shut the bottom gates now, so it's just totally flowing over top there. So I'll spin this around and show you. See down there? You're all closed. All the water's going over that. Crack of putting the drone up. I got it up pretty high, like well and truly 
up above the damn wall and um I don't know so sure, probably about there somewhere and uh the wind just got it and I got all these extreme wind warnings and that sort of stuff so I brought it back down. I was hoping to get a lot more footage of the drone but obviously the conditions won't allow for it so anyway I'm gonna go head up the top of the the uh, damn wall and have, have a look up there and then I'll have to start making my way home. Okay, time to leave uh, Dartmouth Dam. Gotta start heading home. I'm not sure exactly how long it's gonna take to get home. So far, it's been nearly 10 hours since I left uh, Angler's Reach at the Snowy Hydro Project where I'm staying. So, it's um, been a long day. I reckon I've probably got four and a half hours, possibly five hours to get home from here. So, yeah, very long day. Um, but it's definitely been worth it. This is a highlight, yeah, it's, so I think it's happened five times since it's been built and the last one before this I've mentioned it plenty of times it was uh, 26 years ago so definitely worth getting in